Welcome back to another animation analysis, and yes, I'm taking another look at turning red, mainly because of awesome facial shapes. A lot of times it's about hands and things, and I was looking at this trailer going, all right, I want to look at all of these, and there's a lot of simplified shapes that read so well, it was so cool. But anyway, start at the beginning, really nice look, I'm already a big fan of the colors of the look, and watching the whole trailer, that opinion has not changed. So I wonder if this character just has always eyelids like this. She never goes higher except towards the end. I think she's the only one that can get away with the translate like an IK head there, but we can see that later. But right off the bat, we got some interesting pose, interesting hands. And of course, those mouth shapes that change, <laughs> she cracks me up too. There's a lot of good stuff in there. And close ups, of course, I love textures, some great squash and then relaxation in that foot there like yeah, detail stuff i'm always a big fan especially here when you watch this here i love how the eyebrows this is for the students watching if you have eyebrows lifting you can't just have that it has to also affect the rest and then you can decide how far you can go it's definitely going to pull up the skin here you could potentially even pull up those little nostrils if you want to go bigger but that is super important to connect the eyebrows with the lids so that it doesn't feel like this separate shape that you're moving around in your CG character. But if you watch closely, even this corner is moving. Ready? Just a bit. It's crazy town. It's almost like you have to frame through it. But great look. Wonder if she has no glass in there. <laughs> That'd be awesome too. Again, she cracks you up. I love how she has that look over towards her going, okay. It's cute though. Look at that. Look at those shapes. So this is this is why I want to look at it. Look at that. Just the pushed to the side without even pulling the ne uh, the nose over and then switching over to this. I love how those shapes just expand into this. Her has the same thing. So great. This goes straight into my mouth shape reference library. Same thing here. But even on something like this here, when you have a big body move, I love how we hold a lot in terms of there's no crazy wobble on the nose. There's nothing where like that, that shape will come down and then go back up. There's some interesting choices there, here and there, especially when she plays uh, in the music class in terms of like one frame direction changes. But it's great though. But you still have that sense of bounce, even in here, if you watch the hand. It's just enough. It helps that this, the hair, keeps swinging. It's great though. Ike head, world space, come on, you can get away with it. But on close ups like that, again, you can see how much is that play with just little slight relaxations. Same thing here, the eyebrows that still moves this section through there. So, for the students watching, you want to put in just enough facial details, and you take this and you put wireframe on shaded so you can see the mesh and what is affected. Half lids, <laughs> just always half lids. I love this video, we still see this hand. It's like main animator, intern. <laughs> but good pose though, good finger pose. Again, we're back into details, squashing of the feet with a slight slide because we're going down and pushing out this way with a slight pivot from here. I know I'm overanalyzing like this, but telling your students got to pay attention to all that stuff. It's great. That extra detail, especially being up close, you got to put that in there. Cute walk and again, she says here, okay, she says her name, I'm and all that stuff there. And look and see, there's not much going on in terms of a change. And that's why I love it. You can get away with pretty much just corners in out while maintaining the shape. We still have some tongue animation because of the L for Lee. It's great though. Again, that's, it's just, you can get away with a lot. And that's one of the things actually I struggle a lot with too is the, the over enunciation in the jaw and too many shapes, and it's not needed. You can, you can really get away with a lot here. I love this course, hand pose. There's also a lot of nice arcs in this, we'll more on that later. Yeah, there's already lots of great stuff. We are back into your IK world space head here, love it. Even here though, you got just enough. Like it's not, you can't go straight over so it's really like a flat ik head or something but it still has enough of an arc following that and as you do this again mouth shapes going from 
really big shift. Still have asymmetry in there though, right? It's not it's not always mirrored. So even in something like this, but I love how we go from this. And it really reads with all of that and the accents in the jaw. So it's not, it's still strong, but it doesn't stop over one frame. Love all this. Look at that. This is why. Going from here. This is a really nice, clean, appealing shape. <laughs> Even this, like a little arc and all of that. Now, if you look at the mouth and then look at the nose. There's just a little up and down, but compared to, for instance, if you watch like Disney trailer where it's more the less uh, stylized like this, if you have like, big jaw moves and the big shape changes there, that nose would be going for like really big fleshiness. <laughs> Love that shape. So it's interesting to see where it's used and where it's not. Okay, it's a little slight asymmetry there. Of course, nice finger poses. That little pinky just a bit higher. I love all this. And even this here on that change, you have a slight rotation change before we translate over. Yeah, it's so great. Students telling you, go frame by frame, analyze and take notes. <laughs> I love this here. <laughs> This is great. He definitely has an attitude. Again, we are back into half lids. I love the contrast of all of these. I like that the group of them. And then with the other one we don't see in this frame. This is interesting to see with holding the props, but also like how like she's very strong in her moves. Where you have to look at she's very she's very tense in all of this she needs to get a lot of stuff done as she says here right don't have time to lose so there's a lot of strong poses but also strong body tension like there's no crazy floppiness in his arm despite holding an object here and turning and you can see this later on in the music class hold on let me go forward although in something short like this i do want to there are a lot of takes here where you have a an expression and down into a squash in the transition and up into something else. There are a lot of these in this trailer. So I think this could also go into your uh, takes reference folder. Then you have this here. You can see as she pushes up, right, she stretches out. There's still going to be more push out on this arm. And then you can see a little bit of move in this here. This goes back to the students. Watch out when you do body mechanics, right? You got your arm. I feel like a broken record, but I always have to mention it because it comes up every semester. You bring up that arm. Yeah, it's going to push her over this way. She's going to be slightly off, but there's still pressure on this. It's going to still affect this, All right? You still have movement in here. And even at the end, when she's done with that pose, you can see that slight spreading of the fingers. Like there's a lot in this, even like the arm pushing the shape over, again, pushing all of that. You got your asymmetry in the face, in the mouth shape and everything. Like that would be such a, a great study for students just to look at what goes into a shot like this and just the, the mechanics and what body part influences the rest and force and pressure and so on. So, <laughs> every time I love it. Look at that face. <laughs> Look at that face. <laughs> she cracks me up. Oh, lots of great stuff in there. But again, if you look at her, you can see how like there's, there's so much tension in there. Even though she's walking and she's pushing this up here, again, it's not floppies there's a specific style to all of this by the way i love how the textures and the, the writing how the pen gets darker as it goes over i know it's silly but i love all the close-up details of textures and and uh the rendering of all of this now here i slightly hear fromage if you bring up the sound uh-huh french class uh-huh right you italian french there love this guy Again, we're going into big, big shapes. They just read really well. I love the fleshy cheeks, though. So don't forget the tongue in there. This is the one. Let me just go back with you for hands. I love this here. Down into over into out. But even here, just the really nice, clean shapes. You always have that triangular shape. You can break it up a little bit, but it's still technically a really clean shape. That is something that actually in a, in a recent assignment, it's just, it was all about hands and fingers for the students. And telling you, you got to go in there frame by frame and make these work. Look at that. Got to go in there. 
I love this too, how that arm comes out, but then relaxes back in the slight little up and down in the in the wrist. It's just that. All of that stuff that I unfortunately torture my students with. Of course, it's all in there. This is the one <laughs> where I always tell the students, careful with sudden stops and one frame direction changes. But in this case, like she is so tense and it makes sense. I love it. <laughs> that and with the sound, I gotta bring the sound back. So good. Yeah, it's really great. I love all this. This one cracked me up because she's falling asleep. Unless it's a ginormous sigh. And I love the little the shakiness because, you know, as they're in here and this is all moving and shaking from uneven ground, it goes back into her. It's a little attention detail there. You can see it is on this character as well. <laughs> love the mirroring of poses. You can see that. Look at that. Again, the mouse shapes. Love that into a clean shape like this out in the and also for students watching this just go through those mouse shapes and look at corners you could track those corners and how they have always nice arcs there's sometimes little twirls at the end the nice little easy and you can see how the corners it doesn't have just the jaw go up but the corners go in as well just to kind of relax that shape a little bit <laughs> i like that it's a tiny little bit up and down in the eyebrows Oh, it's great. Yeah, such great stuff here. <laughs> Look at that. Holy moly. Really getting into those crazy anime shapes where you can see like a really stretched mouth. Half eyebrows there, half lids. But again, you can see this here, the, the arcs and the softness of the jaw. That's something else that is tricky for a lot of students where they bring down the jaw but then it, it stops fairly harshly and goes, it's, it's a lot of like up and down where you graph it, that's literally the curve, linear keys. And that just gives you a really harsh up and down. And I think here, I mean, even here, it, it, ha it doesn't have like a crazy ease in down, but then it's still masked by now the head goes over. It's like the jaw is done and then pulls the head over. But then also the mouth shapes continue to go down and up with a nice arc. So you can still have expressive and strong stops, but then the rest continues and gives you still a smoothness in the scene or in the scene, in the, just in that area. But if you have just corners dialed in where they go from in to extreme here, linear key, jaw down linear key, that's just something that a lot of students um, struggle with. <laughs> Love that. Look at that there. High density there. So many shapes here to look at and the corners. Anyway, go through this. Love all that. Even when she's like this, it's barely higher. It's not that much. I wonder how many times you can see the white above there. Oh, so many. Also great poses. Great, great expressions in all this as well. Something like that, right? So you got your, it's like grouping of fingers. You know, I'm always going to look at fingers. It's so great. So it's really strong his patient and just overall pose it's still got your asymmetry in terms of the height here always those really big mouth shapes i love all this and that is such a great transition there <laughs> into that look at that love all this fingers out everything's out and fanning out so much from this shot as a whole it has such a, a rhythm of the bounce with her but also look at her how she's got those arms back in there with this. How it's kind of that, that anticipation going back and you got your line of action still very strong into this and then going into the lead here with the shoulders and the elbows. You got your reversal ready for that type of move with that turn. I love it. Into this. I love how on that down, we just wait a little bit with those arms and then they go down into all of this look at that it's just so great i mean <laughs> athletes again she's got her side to side head moves with her uh, appropriate dancing background i love this look at that shape i mean all of this here always checking your asymmetry i know this, oh, she's always a little bit like almost like innocent and cute and Am I the only one doing this? Am I right? Versus she just goes, I am doing this. I regret nothing. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, man. So great. Even here, if you watch her, 
that's what I was looking at before. Like she is done with the pose. Like she is really committed. She is committed to beautiful poses there. Look at that. <laughs> I love how that, puff, that foot points inwards like that. Everybody's so committed. And she is, it's almost like she's not as strong with all the shapes. But then at the end, you can see like, oh, uh, she held just long enough. Oh, uh, no, it's too long. While they are just, I am in. So great. Just the different character attitudes are great. I love this too. Look at that. All those. That turn. Pivot off the toe into. I love how we're here and then it slides forward to get into this. Into this bend. And again, you have bending down. You put pressure on there, right? And then look at the feet. There's still a little squash in the feet. That, that foot roll still goes down. Everything compresses down because we're putting force down on, on the feet there. Just in terms of attention to the detail. As always, students, like you would have your your main shot posed out like this, and then you're done, or you think you're done, and then you start adding all of that. You get you see it here as well. Or for instance, like the details. You can see with it still the holds on the shapes, the change into that, like all the extra stuff that you gotta put in at the very end. Obviously, depending on your style and you know what you want to get get away with and how much time you have. You got some flashes here. Let's fast forward a little bit. Even though I like all of this here. Details of the lighting. That. Nice and painterly almost. It's very clean and stylized. But still, you have some realistic reflections and stuff. But I love all this here. The wobbliness. That's, that's later on when she realized that dad knew about it. I mean, they both both parents do. But I love all this here. It's so cute. Then we go to like some really crazy renders. I love all this. Makes me hungry too. Let's go back here. Hold on. Let's check. Surprised that well, it, it is moving just a little bit as she pulls. Got the eggs moving. I was expecting more, more drag. So cute though. I love all this here. Set dressing. That's when you look at it. Oh, look at all the little things posed out, the shapes, the textures. Love this. I love set dressing my own shots. Again, not that I'm doing crazy amount of shots at home, but whenever I have something like this, I can't wait to find objects and populate and then look at. You know, this like, where is it busy or is it not? Even though you have stuff here, the steam helps in isolating her in terms of silhouette. <laughs> it's cracking me up too. <laughs> Typical dad, socks and sandals. I'm going to admit, I do the same thing. Not ashamed of it. This, my grandma had something like this in France. But she had a toilet seat like that. Crack me up. Still, I'm always looking at those really clean changes of the shapes into that. Look at that. Even on the down like this, where she realizes, oh, what is going on? A uh, nice, soft, and clean extension of the eyebrows. And you can see everything is just widening just a little bit, which is tough. You might say it's just a couple of shapes, but I'm telling you, students, they love just animating too much. Just something like this. Just reading this so it doesn't feel swimmy. This is just right, but you still see the change here. As she stops, look at the shapes on the shoulders. It's so subtle. It's great, though. You might wonder, why is this so great? It, to me, it's always less is more. You also have to practice less is more. Not those crazy, you know, takes flailing around. I mean, there's, there's a lot of really great stuff here, like I said, in moments like that. That's definitely something you want to animate and practice, the body mechanics and everything. But at least for yourself, you got to do something where it's just a shot like this. How would you go about this in terms of just animating those little shapes? Slight change in the, in the pupils and iris and just all of that. It's not to be underestimated. And then we go back to a big take, of course. Again, it's, there are a lot of, it's a trailer of takes. <laughs> trailer of takes and it's your patience. You can see how that arm goes first. That's something else when you have a take. So it shouldn't be all pose to pose. You're going to have... Certain things reacting first. And even if it's just one frame, but you got arm down, head down, then coming up. <laughs> I like that. Into that. And the same thing here, right? You anticipate slightly down, squash into over with an arc and a stretch, and you got your asymmetry. Again, everything is in there. Really nice finger grouping. I love all of that. And even here, when you have that slight relaxed hand and it's the, <gasps> the tension grabs this a bit more. You can see that post change in the fingers there. 
all the little things as a student I'm telling you, okay, write this down. Like, okay, well, what is going on in this shot? What are they doing? Like how many frames for the eyes to close? Seems to be two frames, hold two frames, and then open. You can just count that and then replicate it. Again, you don't want to copy stuff and put that in your reel. But I think it's great to write it down and see what is going on in this shot. How are they doing it? You can track things like her nose, how it goes down over into this nice arc. If you play just that section in real time, again, it doesn't just stop. It has a slight ease in, and a slight return in this case, just like a frame, but it doesn't just stop. It also helps, of course, with the overlap and overshoot of the hair and all that stuff, but take note and see what you can do on your own shot, just as a practice run. Love this. Great design. I love this too. Go to the crazy town. What's the dad doing in the background? I love this too, how it's the knees kind of in like that. I don't know. This seems like such the, a dad pose. I don't know why. There's something about this. Still though, you got that going down, ready to get up. And you put the pressure on that, on that knee. The elbow goes out. Little, you know, tiny stuff on the background. So think about that. Nice grouping and nice posing of fingers, of course. <laughs> Love this here. Every time you go into something like that, iris pupil and everything gets smaller. And just that change from here to here, it's basically about one frame. <sighs> oh, it's great. Look at that. Because that's the other thing. When you have a shot like this, right? How long is this? Let's watch this. Not long. But fun, right? You got your... As an assignment, again, this is for me always from a student perspective, because they have a lot of like 10 frame, uh, 10 second, 20 second shots. This is so short, but it's still a lot of fun because you have change of expressions, you have gear change, you can push the shapes, you can also play with what goes first in terms of leading, like it's all about the reaction, so this is not going to do too much. And then it goes down into your slight squash and stretch where the shape still expands. And then you have like a really big transition over one frame with extra parts of the body that can drag into again a change of attitude. Or attitude, no, you know, it's like just change of expression there. But still tracking your arcs, you still have a nice settle, right? If you watch that nose tip here, again, it's a very short shot, but it's still all very clean. And you can still go into another expression at the end. And this is really not long. That's why I just really emphasize how students just keep those shots short. I love how the tears at the end here are all separate watches. <laughs> it's very, it's like the mix of clean, like super nice textures and then stylized elements there. Such a push shape. I love this. This cracked me up too. I love that she's doing this. <laughs> Calm her down. I love that little, like she goes away and then on stay back, she comes back. Just that little flare. Stay back. How long is this shot? It's just enough. It's not super long. Again, for me, super long is when students do like 10 seconds, 20 seconds. Let's see. So this is, you can see here the amount of jaw move you can see here. So even though the jaw stops and locks, we still have the shape corners go in. And then as it's not super locked, it's still the frame in with the jaw there. You can still see that the corners of the mouth still continue to go in. And just look at what the corners are doing, their arcs, how, how long they hold certain shapes. But it's just never that you dial in a corner out and then hold. There's always something to it where Either the shapes relax or continue, they hold, they have, they have arcs. I think that's a big thing to take away from this trailer for students. Just really look at how this moves, because it's a fast line. This happened already, there's a lot to do there. But again, you don't want to do everything in the jaw and in the, in the mouth shapes. Just keep it simple enough. <laughs> I love how she has that reaction to what he just said. And I love that too, how we have, besides the, the epaulette, like the shoulder pads, how she goes up, but then goes down first with this arm, with the lean, and goes down stronger with this arm. Again, just because of asymmetry, that's something else where a lot of times this would be what students do and keep 
a lot of symmetrical arms without doing that that going up that going down because you, you can be symmetrical every now and then but you can still look at the ease ins and outs and the transitions to make it just a bit more complex again arcs i mean if you track her nose here even all this hair it's beautiful small small arcs that still work i mean spacing and arcs is a big thing for students as well love that little that little shakiness in here all right, we're going into more stuff here. Although I did like this here. We're getting into this. It's all very clean. This is the focus here. But we don't stop there. And it just continues with, well, I'm going to show her something else. I'm going to change the pose still right towards the end. You know, that finger moving in a bit more. So that now they are grouped instead of this. You can see how they are closer together than relax a bit. I know I'm going on and on about fingers, but... Like in something like this, like this would be again a great shot for a student. It has nothing to do with the face. There's no crazy body mechanics. But I'm just going to practice ho like holding a prop, constraints, and finger animation. How you can make it work so it's just subtle enough, but with still a little bit of contrast and change. And it's not long. I'm going to go back into like how long is the shot? Let's go back. And it's not long. So keep it that short and practice. I just love anytime you have teeth like this and big shapes like that. Maybe just because of as a kid watching all, all those cartoons that always have those big, clean shapes. I love seeing that in this trailer. This would be a great weight assignment too. Like some big object wants to go somewhere and then two smaller characters have to push against it. Because it's just more interesting than like a simple box lift, even though I think everybody should do a box lift because it's not that easy to do either. But that as a variation of weight. Plus then you can also do, you know, something where it's more close, like close up. We don't have uh, any problems with like hips and legs, but you can go into facial expressions, right? You can still do a weight shot and then see how that affects that character emotionally and so on. Just lots of variations. This cracked me up just because you can see a little slight bump here in this. The wind pushes up the uh, post-it notes. But then it's not like one, two, three. It's all as one. I don't know. It could be also fun to do one, two, three as a variation. But this cracked me up just because I just animated something where something lands on something that also has like separate pieces and it goes into this direction. A little deja vu, but I, I love this. I would love to animate all of this. <laughs> all those little things done by hand, the cable. Plus, of course, the main character with their reactions there. You can see that little... Boing. Oh, that sigh. Oh, I think this is at this point. Like, okay, okay. I don't know if, do I need to do another? I did the teaser trailer, but then I see this and I go, all right, I love all this. All those really big mouth shapes and really nice hand poses. One of the few times <laughs> you can see not half lids. But look at the high frequency at the end. Such a short shot. But again, something really cool technically to practice. You got your squash. Everybody's getting ready for that big stretch and really big shape. But then you want to feel the tension. So as they hold, you still can have your arms and, and fingers and mouth shapes shake. Let's watch this again. And you got your even your little prop animation. How many frames is this? I'm going from 2143 to 2158. It's so tiny. But students, do it. <laughs> do it. Keep the shot short. At least you can finish it. Same thing here, right? <gasps> Going back, lots of high frequency shake. Still very clean mouth shapes, but you can see the slight changes in that. This was great too. I just love this frame in general. All the details there. And I love the, the grabbing and the very clean <laughs> extension of the hands. Also, no blur on this. So you can really read. Because it's all blurry, 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 blurry. So you have that moment of not, I'm reading this moment. And I love that, that pull. <sighs> look, <laughs> look at this, come on. Head is here, legs are there, it's great. But even that is fun. I mean, come on, watch this. It's not long, but you can practice some, something like that in terms of the holds, like something like this where you hold it over one frame. Still, you got your arcs in there. You got the drag, the main like principles in there. You can really push the eyeballs like coming out of their heads. And a little 
Prop animation. I always love to do. Where is that paper going? Oh, back here. You have even this here moving. Short, but you can still do a lot of awesome stuff. Her face. Come on. <laughs> this is over one frame too from here to here. It's great. How oh, does this look in real time? Yeah, look at that. She really goes for it. Again, something else that you can practice. You can have whatever. Right? Replicate this or do something else where, okay, how far can I go in terms of shape changes, pose changes over one frame? Also, still love that pose, even though it's just one frame. These are closer together than these. Like every frame is really thought about in terms of hand posing. You can still see with, also with the lighting, but it still reads. Like all the hands are still clearly readable, all those poses. But that would be a great practice shot too. As for someone that goes into an action, how far can you go in terms of one frame changes there? It's interesting too how this shape here, if I put uh, my onion skinning on, oh, stop and go. So you got this here and then bam, the other hand is almost there, but not really. So even though it's subtle, it almost feels like it's the same. You still have a little bit of a change and this hand being slightly to the right. So careful about strobing. Like this is so fast, it doesn't really matter. You know what I mean? Like that's, it's not that. This is to me more like if you have a bouncing ball, I don't know, going straight from character to bouncing ball, but if your ball is here and then lands and then goes up in the same position, same height, and you're over one frame, it just gives you that weird strobing feel. I don't know, this made me think of that. Totally, totally an aside there. <laughs> Love this. Half lids. Cute outfit though. I know. There's just something about all of this here. The trail of the characters. Even back into your mouth shapes, right? There's a lot of O into like that. A lot of different O shapes there. Half lids. <laughs> but still, look at this one. You have still a slight move in those shapes. Go frame by frame, and you can see even on this change, it goes up a bit for your anticipation into the down. But those corners do all have arcs. Let's go back here. Definitely a lot of one frame locks on jaws in this trailer. It's usually what I would tell my students to avoid, but here's a good example of how it still works. Because you want that accent on girl and it still reads enough because as it hits here there's still that change in here it's very subtle though also you know just a still frame like this just for you to study as a student okay well, how are those shapes well it's all you know there's still change in the in how big they are right how much there's a change between the opening here the height of the eyebrows or a corner pushed out so there's asymmetry is always present that's cute. I love this too. The puff and then how that affects the the props. I just, I was like, you know, hair, clothing, props, all that stuff. I love looking at this. Simple shot too, though. Again, for me, it's interesting. And I, I, I keep repeating this because they are in a certain state of mind. And then they go into another. This is a simple exercise of A to B. And how do you transition from that? Are there any changes? You can see again, a really nice arc. There's so much you can look at in a small shot like this. <laughs> Again, all of that. She's going back into that side to side that I mentioned before. She always has a little side to side half lids there. Let's watch this. You're you. She's saying here, you're you. And it's basically this into just different versions of almost a circle. But if there's nothing, you know, like super complex in terms of different mouth shapes. Like, but you can't. Like, this is the style. And that's something else, too, to look at. Like, there's, there's a specific style to all characters and how the shapes move. So there's a consistency to it that's really cool. And that's something else you have to look at as a student. You might say it's really cool. Yeah, but, I mean, that's what you do. Yes, but not as a student. <laughs> so, you know, this is, you know, for, for students to, hopefully, as they're watching this, you have to look at what are you establishing in your animation in terms of the snappiness, the style, the shapes. And then if you have a 10, 20 second shot, which a lot of them do, 
be consistent because a lot of times it changes and it's not it just, it's a bit all over the place so i don't know you as students you have a lot to think about in terms of your shapes asymmetry body mechanics and spacing and all that good stuff but still in the back of your head still think in terms of consistency and how the character in a way doesn't go off model in terms of what you're doing with it i remember this from the teaser trailer <laughs> still cracks me up though that jump height goes into this although that's when i would have put let's see squash in the toes squash in the toes do it do it simple thing but i like this i like that this gesture is cut off here i know it sounds silly but it's just a nice it's a it's a one arm gesture it's not your typical two arm w or the one arm fan out i still like that the shape of that and that we're slightly cutting it off i don't silly but i like that i like stuff like that but even here again i want to stress out this you can see that shape how it changes into a close with a slight ease in and out but if you look at the corners of the nostril there's nothing there and it's not like you watch this and it doesn't work it does because the whole style of it since the very beginning is push shapes like that and really fast transitions but again if this would be like in a more classical disney movie see joe a lot of other movies you would have a slight change in the corners like that muscle pulling the corners down and then going up would relax those corners there so this interesting again a consistency in all of this <laughs> oh she cracks me up all of these guys crack me up i love her little wide eye what what <gasps> like very fast blink i love this too it's like a half blink yeah i love this Again, she doesn't have to do always a full play because she's so she's so attentive here. Like, wait, what? That she doesn't want to lose focus. I'm reading way too much into this, but I like that choice. That it's not it's not a full blink. She doesn't want to lose sight of this. It's a great shape there too. Just everything is really nicely posed out. I love that it's underneath the arm. They all have like the different like contrast of posing is great in this. Love this here when she goes up and there's so much rotation. But the head is almost locked, but not really. It still doesn't feel broken, but it's just this this more stylized look. And <laughs> I focus on her. <laughs> look at this. I love how the expression is not changing. It's like, okay, this is normal. Boom, let's do this. So great. That's great too. Ah, uh, I say great just because I look at this and go, oh man, this would be so much fun to just pose out over this couple of frames. That massive drag, that contact. It's so good. It'd be so much fun to animate. But we'll watch how long this shot is. Okay, well, she does a lot more at the beginning. Let's watch this. Yeah, it's okay. It's a, it's a longer shot with multiple characters. But it could just be this, right? It could just be a character looking and punching. And just the mechanics of that. Because even here, you have that rotation of the body and that swing of the, of the arm. And that's still going to affect the head. You can see how the head is not locked. How it comes up. And a little bit of a little relaxation there, change, a little bit of wobble there. Just a little bit, watch your nose. It's great. Just enough attention to detail. I can smack her all day. The other thing I was looking at is what I love is that she gets bam, knocked off screen. But look at her. I mean, not her, all of them. But they all, it's like she she falls maybe against the wall and it falls down. But it's all implied through them watching. And then watching the other fall. And I love that because it's it's now about the reaction. It's as in a way, it's a great shot idea where you have your big mechanics, you have contact, you have fun facial expressions, and after that, the object of interest in a way is gone, and then it's all about them reacting. And you can see like that head shake. She <laughs> she is delighted. Look at that. Look at that mouth shape. And her going, mmm, it's cute too, holding the nose there squeezing the fingers there's so much you can do i think this is great as a as a shot idea this into that <laughs> her little bounce of happiness oh it's so great again a lot of takes we got a lot of compression energy patient extension love those poses though this is something i was looking at before where it's again attention to detail in terms of feet right he goes back and wants to turn and you got that turn in the foot with the pivot but it's not a foot roll activated straight up. It has a slight bang to it because it pulled this way. 
that's something that I would so critique for my students. Like everywhere, you can see how you got the compression in here and then the change already in that turn. That's the stuff you want to really look out for as you animate this. You got, again, clean shapes for the hands. Yeah, well, that's the stuff that's really important that, again, a lot of students don't maybe don't think about just yet because I know this would be really complicated to animate in terms of the mechanics. But once you're in there and you're done, you're doing your polish, uh, your polish aspect, you got to think about stuff like that. The pivots and then the the side to side banking. So you just, it's not just a channel that's activated where the foot roll just goes up without any you know side to side rotation uh, complexities in a way. I'm sure, someone animated this by hand. <laughs> Love the the sense of mass here with the fur. It's great. This guy cracked me up too. I love that that turn where it goes into <laughs> that. And I love how it tries to land, but then does that split and then the fall. The complexities of that turn and fall. Watch her. <laughs> so great. Okay, how long is this shot? This guy, maybe that's the theme. Besides mouth shapes is length. Ready? It's not long. But look at how much fun this is. You have, besides the contrast, right? You got a big character, small character. Then you have not exactly contact, not like it's a big punch or something, but you have at least a reaction to it. And then you got the physics of a fall, where it's kind of like, in a way, it's a bouncing ball, right? But within that construct of a bouncing ball, because you got your bounce here, you got the complexities of, okay, what are the limbs doing? It's almost a bit ragdoll, but then not really, because now you're going to very specific drag, cue pose, I love this, into this where the head is, <laughs> you still have those, moments of reading without too much blur and then you got the complexities and the change of that fall so great it's not long it's definitely complex and that's what i would do as a student you're really learning shape language and shape changes for clean silhouettes fast timing and then still wait wait it's almost like wait plus fun right? This is your weight assignment, but you can do all that fun stuff there. And just when you think it's all done, that's your extra accent. Look at those cheeks. It's, your, it's, not, a, it's not a trumpet, but Lizzie Gillespie style. Bam! You can see that extra drop for this. And I love also how the pivot is off of here, just keeping those toes up. Like on that land, you don't have a uh, the foot drop on it because that kid is so tense, so freaked out that you can feel it in the tension because the, the toes, you can see the toes, but the foot never relaxes into a, a flat foot there. So great. But even this, imagine none of this. And then you have just this guy. Just the weight of that, you practice your arcs. So when you have this drop here, you can see that that stops, because obviously it's surface on surface, it stops. But then the momentum continues, bam, on that leg coming down. It'll overshoot and back on this leg. Because anyway, that's not your, your typical weight assignment. You get some fun poses. And again, it's not long, but you practice weight and you're spacing in all of this. It's so great. I love it. I love it. Same thing here. Big takes. Again, it's the trailer of takes. The change into that. But look at the bounciness and again, the arcs of the nose. It has a really nice twirl in there and then the up and down. And it's not super soft. Right? You still want to feel that boom. So much to look at. Oh man, this is one of my favorites. I love her. Talk about mouth shapes. She goes, oh, that's a big change from A, like a nice silhouette to oh. I love how you got to look at the arcs of the corners, but also the jaw. Right? She goes, oh, eh into like she hits that pose but then it still continues as an anticipation to the m and look at the arc of that jaw jaw goes out arcs in for a really really nice m and then ready inhale for the g and you got that one frame of a g, like the corner is up to say it oh i love this i know i'm nerding out but i just love clean shapes what can i say and i love this too that the push <laughs> Oh, it cracked me up. What can I say? It's silly and I love it. You know what I'm going to say here, right? Short shot. Just a blink, but look at the 
enough detail and a slight head turn to change the eyebrows. I'm telling you, just do this, students, just do that. Practice a short shot. <laughs> and then you can go into something like this, which is not big either in terms of length, right? Ah, oh, so much to do. It's great. That cracked me up too. Get your classic anime run here. R's back! That's a fun shot too, though. In terms of just the mechanics, you got your run into a jump, land, transform into a bigger object launch. It's short, you can't see too much, but that would be fun as an exercise too. Because runs and walks are hard. So like you want to do this for a 10 second shot. That's why you want to keep it short. And you have nice contrast. You know, like uh, maybe your assignment, I think that's boring. I don't do a run. Like you should. But even then, all right, well then do a run. Just a couple steps, right? And then into a jump. And you can really look at those really nice poses. Big anticipation. I don't know. So what you can do in a short shot to have fun. This cracked me up too. The hair at the end. <laughs> this guy's cool too though. The shapes. Oh, look at that. This goes back into... Sha -ba -ba! Wall lights, big shapes. I love it. This is great too. One of the few moments where we see a little bit more. <laughs> I just like the trio. I just like the character designs and what they're doing. This is something I always wanted to do where it's a character that has a mechanical arm. It's like a robot arm. I really want to do it, I think, very soon. It's that and a, and a break of an arm. Anyway, so I'm trying to do more stuff at home and that's one of the things I want to do. I love this here. How push that is but it's just the idea of an arm changing shape into something heavier now for her it's just the anticipation and then the throw but i would love to animate something where this arm transforms suddenly to something big and heavy and then how that arm then plops down and pulls and drags the character and how the character has to deal with something heavier on the side it's just something i want to animate clean shapes love it this i love that you know i love it all of this here and the, the path of it too pulls their hair. It's great. So great. That you got your sound barrier. Oh, it's great. But this guy, I love that. <laughs> Besides this, come on. How is this not fun? Do a big take and you can go into those big shapes. But I love how it burns through the hair. I love that. With all this here. So great. That's the end. It is the end. So cool. I love it. I love it. I thought maybe I should not do another one. But I can't help myself. It's just great. Like I learned so much from this. The wobble in the ball. In and out, in and out. Plus the path. It's just There's so much you can always watch and go through and frame through. And just the detail work of this is so great. You got your <laughs> the tongue shape. Again, it's not just the tongue up. It has a little animation there. Changes in that shape. So much for, for a student, there's so much in here where I would really take this to heart and look at how long are those shots and how much is packed into a shot in terms of posing and facial stuff and mechanics and just contrast and fun. It doesn't have to be a long shot and that way you can actually finish it and go from A to Z. Anyway, that is that. It's a long analysis, but it's also really cool. Oh man, I want to end on this here. <laughs> Combination of this, that, the hold. <gasps> And I love how small, in a way, the change in that turn is. I don't want to be loud. Let me just go and say no. And no again. <laughs> so good. All right. I'm going to end it with that. Hope you liked it. Hope it's uh, especially uh, insightful and educational. Hope it is. I hope it's uh, there's enough balance of me saying it's awesome. Plus teaching, I hope. Um, thank you to all of the people who animated on this. It's great. I can't wait to watch it. And that is that. If you like it, you need the page. Like and subscribe. You got to throw that in there at the end. Subscribe so you don't miss any of these. But whatever. It's the page. The YouTube page. I'll leave it at that. Thanks for watching. Let's go back to this because it's so awesome. And I'll see you in my next upload.